What's up guys? This is Anthony from East Africa Travel Tips. I hope you are doing well today. So here today I'm going to show you something um, practical uh, and that's how to buy data bundles uh, when you come in Kenya and you want to use internet. So before I show you how to do it, let me first explain what data bundles are. Data bundles basically are the way in which you consume internet here in Kenya. Now in Kenya, most of us do not use Wi-Fi as often. We normally use um, mobile data, uh, that is 4G or 3G, and the way you uh, get a, a data plan. Now I know places in the West probably you'd have like a contract that you'd be receiving a certain amount of uh, data per, per month, I guess, and it comes in your bill at the end of the month. Now here it's different. You have to pay for it ahead of time, and so you'd have um, an amount of credit that then once you purchase it, it, it gets consumed over time. Now, the first option you normally have is to pay as you go. Now, you put some money on your phone and it gets consumed as you use your data. Now, not, now that is not normally very uh, cost effective because um, it normally is charged at a my, much higher rate than if you purchase a bundle. Now, what I'm going to be showing you today is how to purchase a bundle uh, once you've gotten some amount in your phone um, then once you use once you get that amount on your phone how to uh, how to well the set of instructions that gets you to have a data bundle so for instance that you'd get something like 20 GB or 10 GB that you'll be able to use for a certain period of time let's say a month or a week um, now this is uh, going to be current for now at the time of recording this and this may change going into the future but the basic premise is still the same that you I think even going into the future, you expect that you're going to be charged more if you're paying as you go versus if you are uh, buying a bundle. Now, again, let me also mention something that may not be very obvious to a foreigner, which I think may be obvious to me or any Kenyan. Um, a few things. The first is that uh, how you, we use SIM cards. Most of all of our phones, a phone like this, would use a uh, SIM card. And the SIM card, um, let me see if I'm able to get one of this uh, out and open so I can be able to show you one. Now the SIM cards are um, bought from like agents and you'll find a lot of them, either Safaricom agents. Now Safaricom is our main, main data provider here in Kenya. Um, so you can get SIM cards uh, from them. Uh, you will need one to have an ID. So as a foreigner, the one thing that you may need to have Oh, this thing is difficult to remove. The one thing you may need to have is um, like your passport. So have your passport with you. Um, and um, I believe some of the SIM cards are actually sold for free, but have about $2, uh, 200 shillings. Now that's about $2 at the time of recording this um, to purchase your SIM card. Now, um, SIM cards are registered to your, to your passport because uh, like security use it that it, probably that if you if someone did committed a crime or something like that it's followed through like what line are they using and who is it registered to Oof, finally I was able to remove that um, and so be careful who gets access to your sim card once you purchase it if you're going to be going away don't just throw it away once you get out of the country so a sim card would look something like this it looks it's this I don't know whether I'm able to get it on focus um, Difficult to get it on focus, but it's it's a small it's a small chip that you get sold to uh, when you purchase uh, some of uh, when you purchase um, uh, you want to use internet access. Now I believe uh, the what we use here in Kenya is GSM, not CDMA. Um, and so when you're coming to Kenya, make sure that you have a phone that is GSM enabled that can be able to use a regular SIM card. Now, uh, without further ado, I think I've spoken enough. Uh, I want to show you how to uh, purchase internet bundles uh, in Kenya. And what I'm going to be using is Safaricom. So here we go. So you will have a phone like uh, this. So what I have is a, is a smartphone. Uh, and this phone, uh, you'll go to uh, the dialing, uh, dialing pad on your smartphone. Then you're going to go to star. You're going to do star, sorry, star 544 hash. And so when you do star 544 hash, on, uh, that, this is assuming that you've already registered the SIM card. 
and that the SIM card is already loaded with um, the amount of money. Now, probably something I forgot to mention is once you buy the SIM card, you will need to uh, purchase uh, a certain amount of airtime. Uh, airtime is the phone credits that you'll be using to buy your bundles and even like call, but I don't think you're going to be doing as many calls as using the internet. So you'll need to buy, um, you'll need to pay in advance for, uh, for your data plan. So at the place where you're going to be buying the SIM card, they should be having uh, what's called airtime. So you can ask them for airtime. I would recommend that you buy 3000, that's about $30 worth of airtime that should be sufficient for how long you're going to be staying and now assuming with thirty dollars the thirty dollars should last you a whole month um if you are if you are a moderate user uh, of data uh, that may be a bit of overkill so that dollars may be on the higher side if you want to save some money then buy about like two twenty dollars that's two thousand shillings that should be sufficient for your use so once you've done that um once you've bought the airtime um now in in case you have bought the airtime uh, in in a in a in a in a piece of paper, they're going to give you a piece of paper for that, and the piece of paper uh, will contain instructions on how to uh, how to pay, how to use that amount, uh, how to put that amount within your phone, and usually that amount is can be entered. Well, you can top up your phone using a code. You'll scratch the uh, the piece of paper. It's scratched to reveal, and it will have instructions so in the instruction will go something like star 141 star then the code that you will have been given then like hash for it to top up so i'm assuming all of those things have already been done so now the way you top up is going to star 544 hash um and then when you once you do that you press the uh, call button and that will give you an ex, uh, option to choose so you choose uh let's choose the first one so number one, uh, data bundle, and you click on buy. Then the next step is for my number, click on one. So basically it's following the instructions. These are most likely going to be different. Um, and uh, you, you amount the amount, put the amount you want to spend. So that's one way. The other way you can probably do it is star, the same, star 544, hash, and then choose one of the other options. Um, the normal data bundles, let's go with number three, normal data bundles. Um, and you buy, uh, like go to, um, now this is the way that I would normally go. Now that first way is good, but this is the way that I would normally go myself would be that I choose like, um, a four, four, uh, 30 day bundle. So I choose number four and within number four, I would then choose the amount of money that I topped up with. Now you notice that it's indicating the amount of money that you're spending in each of them. So for instance, you're going to be doing um you're going to be spending uh, let's say you're spending 3000 shillings for 25 gb you would actually enter that amount there and enter uh let's say you're getting the first option so you do like one um and then uh press send in which case it's going to tell you do you want to use airtime airtime is what you already spent what you already got into your phone so uh, the amount that you already entered topped up into your phone so you want to use uh, airtime and click send and it's going to tell you well in this case i don't have that much money in here uh, but it would then uh, tell me that um, confirm that this is what you want to do and say okay and it would be there for you so that's basically the way you'd go about it um, the way you want to go about it is um, be able to determine how much the amount of money that you had so let's say if you had 3,000 shillings, then choose the 3,000 option. If you had 2,000, choose the 2,000 option. If you want to probably see what options you have before you purchase your airtime from the person who is going to be selling you the airtime, probably at the airport or something, then you'd probably want to go through that procedure. As I've showed you, to that star 544 hash. And then in my case, ordinarily, I'd go with... Um, Number, then option number three, normal data bundles with expiry. Um, the reason I'm choosing that is because it's probably going to give me better value for my money, I think. I don't know. The, the, new, the other one is what they've been introducing more recently. So I want to go with what I'm already used to. And then choose the 30-day bundle, which is four. And then probably look at what options you have available. And so you're able to spend that much money, depending on what you want to uh, how much data you use. Now, if you, you, you've you already been using data for a long time, you most likely already know how much you need um, to use. And so you'll have a good idea of what to expect. But 
um, again, I would go with the highest amount that you can. So like the 3000 may be a good option for you. All right, so that's the end of that video. If you found it useful, give it a thumbs up. If you uh, have any questions, please feel free to make a, uh, a comment and ask me if you have any questions. And thank you so much for watching this video. Have an awesome day. And as always, keep traveling.